Welcome back, guys. Today we're here on Mount Etna for my very first What's in My Camera Bag video uh, that I've ever done on my, on my channel. Now, in this specific case, we're talking about What's in My Camera Bag for landscape photography, not adventure photography, but landscape photography on a daily outing base. So not multiple days, not any of that. That video is going to come later in the day, later in the year, because I have something very cool planned for later in the year, but that's for another video. Let's start with the backpack. The backpack that you see over here is the uh, Shimoda Explorer version 2, 25 liters. This is a great camera backpack for uh, this type of stuff because it fits a lot of stuff. This is right now it's stuffed with a lot of things. Uh, one of which I need to wear as soon as possible <laughs> because it's freezing cold over here. And um, this, pretty much does everything that I need on a daily uh, outing for, for landscape for photography. So the backpack is very comfortable, very, even if it's super uh, stuffed with, with, uh, with things, it doesn't uh, wear on you, it doesn't uh, hurt your shoulders, it's a very comfortable backpack. And you can also remove the uh, waist belt if you want, but when it comes to uh, landscape, I tend to leave it there because Usually landscapes involves a little bit of hiking and uh, so uh, the waist belt makes a lot of sense. Uh, what do I fit in my, in my, in my backpack? Uh, by the way, speaking of the backpack, if you want to have a specific review of the backpack, uh, let me know because uh, I'm willing to do it if, you're, if, if there's any interest for, uh, in, in this channel. So let's start with what this camera backpack fits. On the two sides, you see there are these deployable uh, bags, pouches, where you can uh, stuff a little bit of things. On one end, I have my uh, PG Whitec Mantis tripod, which is useful for vlogging and stuff like that. And I also have my water bottle. This is a one liter water bottle. Uh, there's plenty of space for both of them on the same side. While on the other side, I have my tripod. This is the uh, Siri Traveler 7C, a carbon fiber travel, not very expensive, 120 euros or dollars, I believe. Uh, it's a very good one. I think I made a review on that. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but it's a very good one. And uh, you should definitely try it because uh, it's a very, very, very uh, nice, uh, nice, nice travel. However, I'm in the lookout for a sturdier one, especially for very long, um, telephoto fo fo photography because this one when there's a lot of wind and you're shooting uh, telephoto kind of wobbles a little bit so it's a very good one it's a very good one for if you don't have that much money but now especially for that adventure thing that I'm gonna do I need a sturdier one so I'll keep you updated on my uh, on my decision on that but for now this is serving me well for the last two years and it's very, 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 uh, very good. So, starting from this front uh, pocket, it's a deep one that goes up until here. There's another one over here that I use for uh, paper stuff, but I don't use it that, that often, if I'm being completely, completely honest. But this one is important. In this one, you can fit a lot of stuff. For example, my puffy jacket. Now, this is not a random puffy jacket, super lightweight. This is the one that I used in Lapland at minus 27 Celsius degrees. This is a very warm one, and I'm gonna wear it right now because it's getting freaking cold over here. So, <laughs> I might, might as well use it. On top of the puffy jacket, I also have my, on this two, there's two uh, pockets over here, uh, separate with a zipper pocket. And on one, on one I have my uh, SD card holder, my, my memory card holders. And on this one, I have batteries and tools like the Allen wrench key and all of that. Uh, it's pretty uh, useful to separate all of that. You also have another pocket here uh, that's separated. They would fit your water uh, bladder that you can also attach over here. However, I tend to use my um, water bottle with this backpack just because I don't want the water to be on the outside of the backpack that then um, uh, pulls you out and uh, just pulls on the back and unbalancing everything. 
that's that's pretty much what I feed over here when it's of course when it's winter time when it's uh, when it's summertime you don't need any of that but for winter time this is really really useful on the top what I feed is a lot of stuff as well my raincoat I also fit my Freewell V2 filters that you see over here. Gloves, which I should put on now. And I also fit this little pouch that is uh, holding an accessory that has become really important in my backpack. This is the VSGO uh, air, blo uh, air blower, turbo air blower, and all of that you see over here. Uh, this is very useful to clean up uh, your lenses, your sensor, and all, and all of that. Very, 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 very useful. I can also fit some um, uh, snacks and all of that when, when you're going out for, for, for longer. So this backpack fits a lot of stuff. You also have... A zipper pocket over here where I put uh, my macro KNF macro adapter and I also put my business cards lens cloths and other stuff that may come may come in handy there's also a zipper pocket on the front which I don't use that much but there's still room for for, for something else and now let's get to the juicy part the bottom the back of the of the backpack so what is the equipment that I use the photography equipment that I use when I'm out for landscapes just open this back portion of the backpack and it gets you access to all of my gear now I'm I have to lean back uh, everything just to prevent to prevent it from falling so let's start with the main camera that I use for uh, landscape photography this camera is the uh, Fuji X-H2 the 40 megapixel one we attached the Tamron 70 to 16 to 17 to 70 f 2.8 which is my uh, main lens when it comes to Fuji I also have a backup camera which is the X-H2S that I use over here but usually I tend uh, to stick with the 40 megapixel one uh, unless I need to use two cameras at the same time then I have my wide lens, which is the Tamron 17, uh, 11 to 20 f2.8, and my telephoto, which is the 70 to 300 from Fujifilm. So, as you as you may not notice, it's two third-party lens and one Fuji original lens. Of course, two Fuji cameras, and then there's my microphone. This microphone is the one that it's recording me right now, and it's the. Uh, let me show you. I have this. I put it in a pouch just to protect it is the full aim xa5 x5 sorry it's a very uh inexpensive one which seems to be working really good let me know if you're interested in a review because i haven't reviewed it but it looks like it's a very uh inexpensive alternative to the most common one which is rode dji and all, and all of that this one costs 150 130 170 depending on the price you can find and it does pretty much all of what the other do uh, and the sound seems to be really good so uh, I like that and it's two uh, microphones uh, and one uh, uh, re re receiver so two wireless microphone and one re receiver really good so that's pretty much everything that I have in my backpack when it comes to um, Landscape photography. I reviewed pretty much everything. I'll let you. I'll leave you the uh, reviews uh, links in the description below. Uh, the two, the things that I think I did not review is again the microphone and probably, the, uh, of course, the backpack. I haven't reviewed it. If you want to know more, just uh, tell me. And I pre probably haven't. I don't know if I've reviewed the uh, the tripod, but other than that, I've reviewed pretty much everything on uh, on on this channel that's my uh that's my stuff that's the one that i use thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one but no 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 no. before we leave i forgot a couple of things one 
I use with the XH2 and the X2S, I use the uh, small rig uh, um, L bracket. Small rig does very clever things, and this is one of those. It's all Arca Swiss com compatible. You can uh, do anything you want. You just can also open this to help open the battery compartment to, op to pop open and uh, just uh, help you change the swap your battery without moving removing anything but on top of that I also use this um, PG Tech uh, Arca Swiss compatible uh, clip that you see over here because because this one fits perfectly with the PG Tech beetle clip that you see over here now uh, the principle of this is the same as the uh, capture clip from uh, PG Tech from um, Peak Design I prefer this because you don't have to screw things on and off. if you're moving between backpacks uh, you don't have to screw it on and off all the time and it's easier to use because you just unclip this it pops open you just then uh, uh, remove it and put it on another backpack in this one, in this case it's already done I just clip it like that and it's not gonna go anywhere it's all metal and uh, it's not gonna break on you and then what you do is just slide your camera and you can walk around like that with ease, which also helps you uh, shooting what you need uh, without even going to the backpack all the time. Now that's it, guys. Now it's finally it. Uh, before uh, leaving you, I want to remind you that I would definitely appreciate if you left me a thumbs up, if you liked the video. I would also uh, ask you to consider subscribing to the channel if you, if you liked what, uh, what, uh, what you saw in this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.